Also was his head coach in college at the University of Nebraska, it's Mark Manning. Uh, I'd first like to ask Jordan just to give his initial thoughts of his victory tonight in the gold medal finals and, and then what it feels like to be an Olympic champion. Uh, it was definitely exhilarating for me, you know, I was super excited to, to have this opportunity and I just wanted to see the moment. So uh, there were a lot of American fans there that was super exciting to see all the American flags throughout the stadium and uh, went out there and got it done. So it was exciting. Coach Manning, could you talk a little bit about what it took for Jordan to win that championship match? Well, we have a lot of respect for the uh, for the Iranian. He's uh, Jordan obviously faced him in the World Finals last year, and then we wrestled him also in the uh, World Cup in May. Uh, great competitor. Um, you know, it's just it's a kind of fight of uh, of two wills there, and, and Jordan's got a lot of heart and a lot of desire, and you know, I know I knew he wasn't going to be denied, so. Good match for him, and against uh, you know obviously the semifinal and final matches are were, were big big matches for for him. Jordan, um, your uh, Twitter name is all I see is gold, and could you tell us what it feels like to see that gold now inside around your neck? I'm happy. I'm super excited now because you know I post a lot of highly confident tweets. You know, last <laughs> night I told everyone I was going to win the gold medal, so I had to go out there and get it done today. So uh, I'm super excited about it. I got a lot of fans that always keep me motivated and inspired on a daily basis. And uh, hopefully they get a lot more followers after tonight. Uh, Coach Manning, one other question. Talk a little bit about the uh, kind of athlete Jordan is and also the kind of person he is. You've had a long time with him, not only as his college coach, but now as his freestyle coach. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, just been a great run, you know. We've been together for six years and uh, you know, he's like part of my family, and uh, and uh, just uh, just a privilege to be able to help him um, develop and get to this moment. And uh, obviously, it's just it's uh, great. It's why you coach, you know, for young men to really just develop and really reach their potential, and then you know live up to things. And um, Jordan has a great heart, like I said, and uh, just a, he's a hard worker. You know, it's. Um, it's tough to be a world champion last year, right out of college, and then um, here in London, you know, on the on the biggest stage, and uh, be an Olympic gold medalist. Uh, you know, that's that's uh, you know that's not done every day. And so, um, Jordan's a special, special guy, and you know, we've had a lot of great moments together, and a lot of moments going forward. I know we're gonna have even more. So. Uh, you know, because he has great work ethic and he's going to do what we ask and he just uh, got a lot of heart, a lot of guts and he represents his country in a first class manner. Uh, I'd open this up now for some questions. Do we have any journalists who would like to ask uh, Jordan a question or two at this time? Uh, I'll start over here. Stacy St. Clair with the Chicago Tribune. Hi. How are you going to spend that $250,000? Have you uh, been thinking about that? Do you have a wish list? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely something that's pretty awesome for me. I, I think I'll probably just like looking at it in my bank account. Know? <laughs> but uh, I don't know. You know, it's something I'm really not used to having a lot of money. So for me, I'm just going to really not change anything with my lifestyle. You know, I'm going to continue to wrestle, continue to work hard, continue to be the person that got me to this point in my career and uh, probably take my family out on vacation. Buy a bunch of cheeseburgers before I get home. No. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, please. Hi, it's uh, Carlotta with the Washington Post. Um, you've always shown a, a lot of confidence, and I, I wanted to ask you about picking your Twitter name. All I see is gold. Uh, I picked it actually my senior year of college, right before the NCAA championships. You know, I was undefeated going to the NCAA championships 2011, so I expected to win. A lot of people expected me to win, and uh, it's basically just a philosophy, you know. That every time I go to a tournament, a lot of people are talking about, hey, you medal, you know what I mean? You're happy to medal, but I'm never happy with anything besides first place, and that's a gold medal. So uh, I'm super excited about it. Um, Twitter has been awesome for me, you know, and it's kind of a slogan that's stuck with a lot of people, you know, so hopefully every athlete can live by that philosophy and uh, have that confidence. Question here? Can you just talk about the raw emotion after your win and kind of running up to see your family? Oh, uh, 
was it was sweet, you know, it was super awesome. It was a big relief, definitely. All the anxiety and tension built up to this point. But uh, just knowing that my family was in the crowd was an awesome experience, being able to run up. Actually, someone tried to stop me. One of the, the uh, security guards tried to stop me. But I can see them watch the match. <laughs> and, uh, and buy them and uh, had to make a pretty big leap to get up into the stands. But once I got into the stands and saw my mom, then a bunch of people start hugging me. I didn't even know. Uh, I guess the British fans started cheering for us as well. So it was exciting to be a part of that. I'm a man of the people. You know, I like to be the people's champ and just go out there and enjoy this special moment and celebrate it with, with everyone that's been there to, to cheer me on. Question here. And, and Jordan, tell us what your Jordan, tell us what your first tweet was after uh, winning the Olympic title. Oh, my first, well, my last tweet last night was my next tweet will be a picture of me holding the Olympic gold medal. So uh, once people saw that, they're probably like, eh, I don't know, this guy's kind of crazy. But then today, I just tweeted uh, a picture of me with my gold medal and just saying I did it in uh, 2012, um, Olympic champion. So I'm excited about it. It's got a lot, I just got thousands of retweets already. So I'm hoping to hit 100,000 followers in the next week. But, uh, <laughs> We'll see. I don't know. Other questions? Brian? Jordan, you've talked about uh, John Smith's record, obviously, of six uh, World Olympic titles in a row, and you're now off to 39 straight wins and no losses on the senior level. Talk about that goal of, of being, uh, you know, what your goal is to be the all-time uh, best wrestler in U.S. history. Uh, yeah, two down, four to go, you know, so it's... Uh, it's been a, a, a great journey. You know, last year when I said I wanted to beat John Smith record, a lot of people were probably like, this, what the heck? You know what I mean? Like, I'm laughing, but uh, I don't think anyone's laughing anymore, you know? So I'm on my way. Uh, basically, I just want to be the best Jordan Bros I can be. You know, I, obviously, John Smith is a legend, and to compete against a legend is, is unfair for what he's accomplished in his career, you know? So really, I'm not trying to outdo anyone. Just trying to be as best as I can be, and if that leads to seven World and Olympic championships, then so be it. But if not, I know I put it all the time and hard work that I could. Do you have another question? I do. Um, I think you were one of the few American athletes to win an in individual gold today. Can you just talk about the medal race and do you pay attention to that? And uh, yeah, what does that night, mean to you? I actually downloaded an app on my phone. Uh, for the medal count, you know, so I'm checking the medal count every day, like, man, we're behind the goals, we're behind the goals. We got one goal coming on August 10th. And uh, that was that was something big for me, you know, is that I wanted to pass China. I saw that in 2008 and 2004, China beat us in the medal race, so I wanted to be a guy that could help us out and not only win a medal, but win a gold medal. You know, so it's very few gold medals that I actually won in the Olympic Games, and I wanted to be a guy that could help us out in that race. You know, so even though China makes all our clothes, you can't do this in that one. Another question? Can I get a Hi, um, we're just down to uh, a few days left. Can you describe the atmosphere now in the Athletes Village and how that's changed? It's a party now. You know, everyone's finishing up. So uh, we actually didn't even stay in the village the last couple of days. We went to stay at the UEL, University of East London, which is a lot more relaxed and a chill environment. So it's been good for us to get away. But uh, everyone's in party mode now in the village, so everyone's finishing up. Uh, like I said, a lot of tension and stress relief off of everyone. But, you know, it's, it's super exciting to be around the best athletes in the world. So um, I'm happy to finally be a part of it. You know, not a lot of people knew who I was coming into to the games, but uh, hopefully that will change after this. You know, I'm going to be amongst the athletes that I've been reading about and following on Twitter who had no idea who I was. Maybe we'll find a seat. Sir? Hi, uh, Graham and Bar from the AP. Congratulations. Um, you're saying people didn't know who you are coming in. I mean, you, you've been sort of the face of US wrestling here. You've clearly got the, uh, the personality to raise the sports profile. Um, how do you hope things will change when you get home? Are you kind of you know, ready to work towards raising the sports profile? Yeah, for sure. Have you got any talk show bookings as well? Uh, yeah, I know it's going to be a whirlwind craziness, you know, so part of the responsibility of being an Olympic champion is all the media um, requests, all the the requests from a bunch of uh, different outlets, you know, so it's, it's something that I knew was going to come, something that I just had to embrace and uh, basically embrace that role of being an Olympic champion.
champ, you know. So I'm excited about it. I want to help their sport grow. I want young men and women to both be a part of this sport. You know, it's a great sport. It's taught me a lot of discipline. Um, paid for my college education, taking my family around the world. So uh, it's a great sport, and I'm hoping that I can help it become mainstream. You know, it's going to be tough, but I think if anyone can do it, I can. Jordan John Smith has a move named after him. You hit your patented double leg in each of the four yeah. matches. Uh, can we start expecting coaches to be teaching a Jordan Burroughs double from here on out? Uh, it's tough, man. It's, it's tough. I, I know I feel bad for my opponents sometimes. I'm like, they, they had good news and bad news for themselves, you know, because last year I was relatively unknown coming to the 2011 World Championship, so they had good news and bad news. The good news was this year they knew who I was, but the bad news is they couldn't do anything about it, you know. So it was, it's a move that I, I don't know if I perfected it, but I'm pretty darn close, you know. So Manny's worked with me throughout the years on uh, my double leg. You know, it's, it's a super basic move. It's probably one of the first moves you learn as an individual. So uh, hopefully when people think of double legs, they'll be thinking of burrows. Other questions? Well, I appreciate everyone being here. Uh, Jordan Burroughs, uh, Olympic champion, United States. Yeah.